With daily case numbers starting to come down to single digits lately, many are wondering when restrictions will be lifted. While reopening is looking more and more likely, there are still confirmed cases that can't be identified, not to mention the recent cluster infections from Taipei's Huanan Market and Taipei Main Station's underground mall. Doctors believe there are still infections with unknown sources and that appropriate measures are needed in order to identify these invisible chains. Local daily case numbers have finally gone back to single digits since Level 3 alert was declared almost two months ago, making reopening an ever-tangible reality. Still, in the past two days, Taipei and New Taipei both reported new cases that aren't connected to any quarantiners. On top of that, cluster outbreaks have recently occurred at Huanan Market and Taipei Main Station Underground Mall, and this has led doctors to believe that invisible chains of infections still exist. <laughs> As long as there are still many infections resulting from unknown origins, we cannot loosen COVID containment measures. However, if we, say, a week or two from now, can clearly trace all new cases, then we can feel more at ease. Why are invisible transmissions still rising, given the current scale of screening around the clusters and rising inoculation rates? This remains to be investigated. How then can these unknown infection sources be traced while the authorities attempt to flatten the curve of the death toll? For that, Dr. Huang Liming, director of National Taiwan University Children's Hospital, suggested mass serology tests. For example, by conducting blood tests on 2,000 to 3,000 people in infection hotspots to uncover new cases. Meanwhile, NTU public health professor Jan Changchun identified three criteria for reopening. First, new case numbers should remain in single digits for two to three weeks with a given scale of screening. Second, public and corporate buildings must be well ventilated. And third, vaccination rate for the adult population should reach at least 50 percent to reopen safely. Actually, some water treatment plants have already been carrying out nucleic acid amplification tests, which allow us to know where there might be community infections. Additionally, for COVID cases with unknown sources, we have also called for hospitals to ramp up testing to detect any latent viruses early on. To successfully contain the outbreak, several measures must be undertaken at once. However, even when all seems to go well in the nation, the Delta variant, which is still very much a threat elsewhere, adds another layer of challenge. For that, doctors believe that tighter border controls are the solution and the government will have more time to get the nation vaccinated. The country's epidemic prevention progress will remain volatile until 60 percent of the total population receives two doses of vaccine.